Hello guys, welcome to day 20. So today we are going to be grabbing a whole new shiny database. It's a DVD rentals database and you can find it by following this link right here. Just click on that. There's a description of the database. It has 15 tables and here is the diagram of the connection. Those foreign keys, primary key connections, which we learned about. So it's, it's a nice big database. It's a web of, you know, different tables. You definitely want to have this with you and you can actually download that diagram here to get a cleaner version. So I'll, I'll recommend you download this and have it handy. But of course, you can also download the database. So you click on this to download. I already downloaded mine, so I'm not going to do it again. So once it's downloaded, I will recommend you move it to a good location. So let's move it to. Oh, let's extract this to somewhere. Let's put it, let's put it in here. Okay, so here it is right here don't touch it don't do anything to it don't change the name don't do not change the extension just leave it alone okay so it's in a place you can remember one thing you should do is you want to copy the path you can do that by clicking on that right there or you can go into properties and copy it from here but i prefer to just like click on the copy of the path button however that meta does bring some cool some quote marks which i which you do have to delete anyway so we've copied the path to our file now we need to go into postgresql so, sorry we need to go into pg admin which is our gui for postgresql and we need to create a new database so create database call this dvd rentals if you recall the first database we created we just um, brought in the code but now we are actually going to restore the database. Okay. And I mean, you could just go in to see the code it's writing if you're curious, but you really don't need to do anything else here. Just click on save. It takes a second. Okay, it's created. Now you need to go into restore restoring is how you're going to actually bring over the data so we already copied the file path so we can just paste it here just get rid of those quote marks or if you want to you can navigate to where you where you um save the folder so you can click on here to navigate okay so it's in here uh we need to click yes for for the pre-data post data and data sections of the restore um, place and then go back to general just look at your link make sure it's good Let's see does that look good yep looks good okay restore okay successfully completed you might see an error if you get error code one that basically says that um, it couldn't create a table again because sometimes it might try to do it twice if you see something like that then ignore it you're good to go so the the, the um, database is loaded but we need to refresh to make sql you know load the tables and everything so let's just go in here go into tables and we see some nice tables there so we are good to go Okay, that's pretty much how you load up the database and uh, from here you're good to go. So definitely have fun with this. Uh, this is all I have for you for now. Load up that database and if you have any questions, if you have any issues, feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to help you. Thank you. Goodbye.